What's going on guys? So in front of you, you were looking at one absolutely drop dead gorgeous pickup truck. This is the 2023 Chevy Silverado ZR2 Bison. This thing is an absolute beast. Now, a lot of folks are gonna say, is this the Raptor killer or the TRX killer that uh, that is available from Chevy? And you know, my response to that would be, yeah, kind of, you know, because I think it's more attainable by a lot of folks. It's definitely a truck that has the looks and the appearance that a lot of people are looking for without maybe that extra wide stance that some folks like and some folks dislike. And and when I say some folks may dislike it, it's mainly because those trucks are wider trucks to maneuver than this truck. This truck gives you a lot of the pizzazz, a lot of the looks, a lot of the capability at a slightly lower price, but also at a slightly narrower package. But this is an absolutely beautiful truck. All right, so as we kick this off, we're gonna walk around this truck and show you some really cool things. So this is the ZR2 Bison. This is the AEV edition. You can see this absolutely gorgeous front bumper on here and this really, really nice front grille that's paint matched and also blacked out. You can see the ZR2 emblem right there as well. As we walk around, this has the ZR2 off-road package, of course as well as the Bison package. And this is gonna come equipped with those Multimatic 40 millimeter DSSV shock absorbers, or spool valve dampeners, as they call it. Also has both electric locking front and rear differential, which is a very, very important feature to have if you're gonna have an off-road capable truck, or at least a seriously off-road capable truck. You have several different terrain modes, including the one pedal rock crawling mode, which is awesome. Looking down the side, you can see the rock sliders here as well, which look absolutely great. Coming around, you see the bison badging right there. The exhaust is tucked really nice and high just to give you a little bit more clearance if you're gonna be rock crawling or going over some extreme angles. The approach angles on this truck are 32.5 degrees versus 31.8 on a standard ZR2. Departure angle, 23.4 versus 23.3. So you get just a little bit more of a departure angle. You got a lot of recovery points built into those AEV bumpers as well, which is really important. If you want a serious off-road vehicle, you need to know that there are chances that you could be stuck in a situation where you need to be recovered and having all of those recovery points are definitely, uh, definitely a benefit. You have five press hard steel underbody skid plates in the event you're gonna be going over serious off-road conditions that might otherwise scrape up or damage the body of it. Steel rocker panel protection as well. You got these 18 inch AEV wheels, 33 inch Goodyear tires. These are the Wrangler Territory MT tires. Beautiful, beautiful truck. This thing comes equipped with a 6.2 liter gas V8 engine, 10 speed automatic transmission, and it produces 420 horsepower and 460 pound feet of torque. If you get it with the 10 speed LZO diesel Duramax, the same engine we have in our Denali, you get 305 horsepower and 495 pound feet of torque. That would have been a cool truck to review as well. Um, we love the diesel engine in our Denali and getting it in this truck would just make it an absolutely awesome, very fuel efficient package. But yeah, this 6.2 liter is a beast. Let's hop inside of the truck and take a look at some of the, uh, the cool technology in there. All right, stepping inside of the truck, love the stitching, contrasting tones look beautiful. Just the overall tones of this truck really, really stick out. It's both sophisticated, high-end, as well as rugged. Payload capacity on this truck, 1,010 pounds. Relatively low cargo capacity, mainly because of the package. You're getting a very high-end luxury package, while at the same time, you're also getting a lot of off-road technology, which adds weight. Front and rear diff lockers, the Multimatic dampers, um, all sorts of technology, plus all the interior technology, leather seats. These are upgraded AEV leather seats. They look absolutely beautiful. Let's hop in. Okay, we are inside of this truck now. You'll see the little animation that comes on the main screen, Chevy emblem on the secondary screen, or also I guess you could call that the main screen. Uh, you have a 12.3 inch digital instrument cluster, basically covers the entire instrument cluster back there. 13.4 inch diagonal infotainment system right here with Google built into it. Plus of course you get Android Auto, Apple CarPlay, Wi-Fi hotspots. There's eight cameras on this truck. Let's start this truck up real quick. Okay. Let's 
we're going to go straight to the camera section here so you can see all of the really really great cameras that you get on this truck okay so this is going to be our front facing camera you can also see your angles from this camera this is going to be your rear facing camera which also shows you your angles as you turn this is going to be your hitch down camera this is your hood down camera this is your mirror camera so you can see the front tires as we turn which is really cool and also the rear tires this is going to be your ball mount camera so you can look straight down at the ball 360 degree camera and this is where you'll actually turn on your rear parking assist or basically when you're in reverse the lines right here basically a straight line or kind of a parking line to give you an indication of if you're going to fit into a parking spot if you have a trailer connected behind you, you can have an in-trailer camera option and you have other camera options available to look down the side of your trailer as well. So you got lots of camera capabilities, including a high center mount camera or a chimsel camera, however they call that thing. Um, if you didn't have the bed cover on this truck, you could kind of unfold that, roll up your bed cover or flip your bed cover open and see into the bed of your truck as well. And the cool thing is, is most of these cameras are available while you're driving, which is a, a great improvement over previous models, which did not give you that capability and I don't have that capability in my Ford either. Up top here, you have a rear view mirror camera. I absolutely love this camera. I used to consider these kind of gimmicky. I used to consider them kind of, ah, do you really need that? Um, but now that I've had one uh, on our GMC and you know I've used it, boy, do I love it. I loved it so much that you guys probably saw the video where I installed one of these aftermarket on my Ford. But this camera is absolutely amazing. You have some capabilities here to make some adjustments as well, so you can, adjust different things like you can zoom in on it zoom out on it you can adjust the brightness you can raise or lower your angle i usually keep it as low as possible and as zoomed out as possible very cool this truck does not come with the sunroof sunroofs and vehicles to me aren't my personal preference because they could leak if you don't use them the seals and different things wear out i know a lot of people love them maybe if you're on like the west coast and you have perfect weather year round it's great but taking a look down here in the center. I love that it's dusk and the sun's starting to set so you can really see what everything looks like when it's illuminated down here. You have heated and cooled seats or heated and ventilated seats. You have dual zone air conditioning, USB, USB-C, your trailer brake controller right here, push button start of course. You have all your piano keys right here for locking your front and rear diff, locking your rear for downhill control, traction control, hazard lights, drop your tailgate, turn off the auto start stop feature, turn off parking sensors and also your lane keeping feature. Two cup holders, a nice little center area right here to hold things as well, plus a pocket up here. Um, you have a nice pocket right here, which I have grown to love on Chevy trucks that I wish GMC trucks had because you can put your sunglasses here and they're not flopping around in this little area. So I would love to have that pocket up top. Really cool. I love the way this all architecturally kind of looks, how it kind of wraps around. It gives you the trim work that flows across the top as well. This is just an absolutely beautiful interior, and it's a huge departure from anything prior to this truck, anything prior to the 2023 model when you had the older interior. Um, I guess it might have gone back to 2022 then before, but yeah, the older interior and this interior are so dramatically different. The only things that you kind of keep that are similar are your air conditioning controls here and your piano keys. But aside from that, it is a huge departure from the previous truck. Of course, we got fog lights down here as well, which we can turn on. And they are integrated in the AEV bumper. All your four-wheel drive controls here, parking brake, heads-up display, which we do have, and you can probably see it right there. So that's your heads-up display. I can adjust it and move it down or higher. I can dim it and make it brighter if I want. On a sunny day, you definitely want it a little bit brighter. Again, beautiful seats, center console. There's a little light there. You have a 110 outlet right here. You have a USB outlet over here. You have no 12 volt cigarette style adapter or outlet, which I really, really, really wish they would bring back. There's plenty of spaces for one. One right here would be really nice just to be able to plug in those things that require 12 volt power. You could always install it aftermarket, but you don't wanna to have to do that. All right, let's hop in the back seat and take a quick look at that before the sun goes down completely. 
Okay, so we're gonna move in the back seat here now. Um, we have our child seat back here. This is a booster seat. It's actually kind of a three-in-one seat. We have it in the booster configuration right now because our daughter's getting a bit older and a little larger and taller. That said though, I love to keep it in here because it at least demonstrates to folks with families and small kids how much room you have left. Both the front seats are in a similar position. The front seat is easily capable of supporting me in terms of height. Um, and you have a ton of leg room here. I mean, just a huge, huge amount of leg space right here, which is awesome. You have a small pocket underneath the seats. If I flip it up, it's a nice little storage area under here. It could be larger. I do wish it would extend further to maybe the front of the seat instead of right here, only because you'd be able to fit more stuff in there. And I think that's important. You of course have these really awesome pockets right here inside of the seats, which give you the capability of storing stuff in the actual seat pocket, which I think is a brilliant, brilliant idea. And the folks at GM really executed well on that. But yeah, this truck is awesome. Everything's LED, beautiful, beautiful interior. You have your rear air conditioning vents as well as your seat heaters, USB, USB-C. And again, tons and tons of room back here. Probably the only downside to a package like this is when you get this extreme off-road package, you're not gonna have step sides that are very functional as step sides. These aren't step sides, these are rock crawlers. You can kind of get your foot on it, but you gotta be careful because your foot can actually slide off of it if you're not careful. So, because it's got kind of an angle to it, if you can see. And if it's wet, it could be slippery. I would not recommend using these really as step sides. In my opinion, I think it would make a lot of sense to put deployable running boards or even more of like a step side that might just be a little taller. But they do this because they want to give you rock sliding capabilities while at the same time giving you something that's tough and can prevent the side of the truck from getting damaged. Very, very cool. Well, I am absolutely thrilled to have this truck. We're gonna have it for a week. We're gonna put it through its rounds. We'll probably take it out on the beach and just see how well this Bison a ZR2 truck with these Multimatic dampers do on the sand of South Padre Island because it gets really, really deep. We haven't had any rain and it's gonna be really exciting to see how this thing bogs through deep sand. But that will be in another video. This is a really, really great package. It comes with the two inch receiver. Of course, your seven way connector, some camera connectors. It's gonna be a little dark in here. You have a connection on this side for 110 power. So you can plug like a cooler, flashlight, battery chargers. And on this side, you're gonna have a handle right here that you can use to actually climb into the bed of the truck whenever you use the multi-flex tailgate. You've been living under a rock if you don't know what the multi-flex tailgate is. Basically, it's their really cool multi-purpose tailgate. Gives you a step, turns into a load stop. Um, in two different ways. You can use it as a workbench. It's just really cool. We have really grown to like ours, especially whenever you use it for a step to get onto and off of the bed, and also using it as a cargo stop, basically preventing things from sliding out of the back. Um, we really haven't used it as a workbench and some of those other functions, but it is pretty awesome. Um, it is definitely a good response to what some of the other manufacturers have had, but this is more useful in many ways because it gives you so many more capabilities. You also have the factory installed folding tonneau cover on the back as well. Really, really cool. I'll show you how I collapse this thing. I've gotten to be pretty good at it since we've had this now in one of our trucks. That's it. I love that matte black inlay right there on the multi-flex tailgate. It just looks really, really good in contrast with the rest of the truck. AEV badging gorgeous truck. What do you guys think? I would love to know your, please leave a comment below. Um, I'm super, super happy and excited to be driving this thing and we're going to see how it performs. Guys, I sure hope you enjoyed this video. If you haven't had a chance, please take a moment, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up. We'll talk to you again very soon.